Welcome back for another episode of Unboxing Boxes, the series where we take boxes out of boxes, sometimes packages, but usually boxes. And if you're really lucky, we'll take the hardware out of the product box. And that's why we call this channel Harbour Unboxed. Right, so we're going to start with this box here because this one is a bit special. It's been sent in to us not by a company, but by a patron member. So ZZR Hardy, he hit me up on uh, Discord, our Discord server, quite a few weeks ago now, and he said, Steve, I've got a spare 64 gigabyte memory kit I want to send in for you guys to use. I was like, okay, 64 gigabytes. I'm thinking, is this some old DDR3 memory, a whole stack of four gigabyte sticks or something? He said, no, no, it's four 16 gigabyte modules of DDR4 3000 memory from Corsair. He bought two kits or something like that. He couldn't use one of them. It was just sitting on his shelf for whatever reason he couldn't or didn't return it. And he just said, look, I want to send it to you guys to support the channel. So that blew me away massively. I Kind of found it hard to believe because that's some that's serious money there in memory about 1300 aussie dollars very very generous but anyway he's sent it in and it's time to unbox it so i'm i'm kind of thinking it's some sort of joke there's there's something uh, i don't know i really don't know what to think uh it seems far too generous but uh tim is in need of memory for his editing rig so if it is a 64 gigabyte ddr4 kit it will be going in Tim's editing rig to help him make videos a bit quicker and a bit easier because he only has 16 gigs at the moment. Okay, so let's find out if there is a 64 gigabyte kit in here or if ZZR Hardy is having some sort of bit of fun with me. Let's have a look here. All right, well, that's looking about the size of a memory kit. Wow, well, it's it's an unopened box. It's uh, definitely brand new, factory sealed box, and it is four 16 gigabyte, 3000, 64 gigabyte kit DDR4 memory. I, uh, I don't even know what really to say, that's amazing. Well, let's get into it and uh, have a look. Yeah, it's the real deal. 64 gigabytes of DDR4 memory. Really don't know what to say, how to thank uh, ZZR Hardy for sending this stuff in. That's just phenomenal. It helps us out massively. And you guys are probably sitting there thinking, oh, you guys get memory for free all the time and whatnot. Well, not really because uh, it's always got some sort of string attached. Often we're just loaning it for a build or, you know, we have to do a lot of work to actually get it. Have to produce a lot of videos and content and guarantee X amount of views. But the fact that we get this just from a supporter is, yeah mind-blowing obviously i don't expect everyone or really anyone to support us to this degree but yeah just yeah blow me out i don't really know what to say um yeah i was kind of convinced it was a joke because <laughs> who sends in a, a 64 gig ddr4 memory kit especially with the way pricing is these days and it's brand new <sighs> wow that was amazing all right Next up, we have some packages here from NVIDIA, so we'll check those out first. I'll move this out of the way. All right, this one here I think is for a build I'm doing soon. Yes, it is, so I won't go over this for too long. All right, so this is a GeForce GTX 1070 Ti. You've seen this exact MSI gaming model on the channel before. I did a build with it. I benchmarked the hell out of it. And I now have a second one, not for SLI. Uh, my original one I'll be keeping for benchmark in the future. This one will be going to someone else. Uh, I am doing a guest build, and that will be hopefully middle of next month. So that's something to look forward to. That should be pretty cool, and that is what this is for. We'll move on. NVIDIA has also sent over another little package, and this is a Christmas gift, so I'm opening this a bit late. Sorry about that, NVIDIA. And they've sent along a few things as a Christmas present. So. What do we have here? Got a little beaten up in the mail. Ah, okay, the Christmas tree ornaments. Very cool. There you go, my kids all love that. GeForce GTX, they'll, they'll really appreciate that one. Little wooden ornament. And of course, another one. Might hang them up in the studio, I think. And another one. So there you go, three 
wooden ornaments. They actually do look very cool, so I actually do like those. I'll decorate the office with them. So thank you for that NVIDIA, they are rather neat. I quite like those. See, Sonic sent along a neat little calendar, which unfortunately I won't use because I do all that digitally. And a little Christmas card, which I'll check out later. Thank you for that, see, Sonic. And finally, the last of the Christmas gifts is one from ASRock. I'm not sure what they've sent, so let's get into it and find out. Looks like we have a good assortment of goodies here. So we've got a little ASRock binder that's themed like their motherboards. That's pretty cool. That's really nice. A Christmas card, uh, handwritten and signed by the ASRock team. So that's very cool. I'll read that in a bit more detail soon. Looks like we have a cap here. An ASRock themed cap. Very cool. I'm not sure what's in this. It's very heavy though. It looks like it'd probably be a mouse pad or something. What is this? Whoa, it's blowing up. It's inflating. It's an ASRock cushion. That's actually pretty cool. That'll also find its way into the studio or office. It's got their Tai Chi board theme on the back. Doing well out of these Christmas presents here. And the mystery tube. Ah, it is indeed a mouse pad. So what do we got? The thread ripper board. I suppose I should show you guys what it looks like. It's a very cool looking mouse pad. So there you go. I'll, uh, I'll use that upstairs in the benchmark lab. So thread ripper mouse pad, very cool. All right. But well, that does it for the Christmas presents. Next up, we, well, we've got two packages left and one of them is, once again, suspiciously keyboard shaped. Haven't had a keyboard on the series for a few episodes now, so hopefully this is a keyboard. Right, so what we have here is the Ducky 1-2 and I believe this is one of their more affordable keyboards. We've looked at a few Duckies on the channel and they've been very expensive, like up around $300 or $300 plus Australian. So quite expensive. This one, I believe, is about $160 right now at PC Case Gear. I'll chuck a link for fellow Aussies in the video description. I'm not sure if you can get this on Amazon or Newegg or anywhere like that in the States. But anyway, let's have a look and see what we've got here. So this particular keyboard is blue and orange themed, which is quite uh, out there. So you've got some orange keycaps and a black enter key there that you can replace, well, the, the orange enter key is pre-installed. So you've got the dark bluish one. So you can have it as a blue, sort of dark blue theme, or you can go with the uh, eye-catching orange here. So I believe you can get pretty much the full range of Cherry MX switches. They've even got a silver model, which I think is similar to the reds. Uh, but this one here has the browns, which I quite like the brown. They're a bit quieter, but they've still got a really nice feel to them. So. Yeah, the keys feel great. They are double shot PBT and they are non backlit. So there's no LED lighting on this, but as I said, it is 160 Australian dollars, which is quite affordable for a high quality mechanical keyboard, especially from Ducky. On the back, you'll find two stage feet. So you can have it up on just a, a slight angle, or you can go a bit more aggressive with your angle if you want. Something quite cool is that the cable is detachable. So if you happen to damage the cable or anything like that, the keyboard won't be a throwaway. And it is a type C detachable keyboard, so it's a lot easier to get in and you can use sort of modern cables if you want to get a braided type C cable you could. But obviously being a type C that will pop in any old way. And there are some channels to, to run the cable left or right if you wanted to, or it can just come straight out the front. And it looks like we've got about a two meter, 1.8 meter cable. Has a type A USB 2 it looks like at the other end to go into your PC. And there is no USB pass or anything like that. So just the detachable cable. There's no aluminium or anything like that for the top plate. It's just a thick durable plastic, plastic all around, uh, but it does feel very solid, very rigid. And then you get this neat little key puller and I will pull the keys off. I'll install the orange ones and I'll throw up some B-roll and show you guys what it looks like with the orange keycaps on. But 
I imagine it's very eye-catching, very out there. Uh, and finally, it comes with a one-year warranty, which obviously isn't that uh, extensive. So quite a limited warranty, but then it is more of your... I know it's expensive at $160, but it is more of your entry-level budget mechanical keyboard. But I suspect it will last well over one year. So anyway, thanks for PC Case Gear for sending this in. I'll probably throw this on one of my test systems and give it a whirl over the next few weeks and see what I think of it. All right, last up, we have this box here from Reven. Reven is a brand I haven't actually seen before. I haven't tested any of their products. So they've sent along a few items for us to check out, I believe. So let's get into it and have a look. All right, so we have some RGB light strips. There's probably three in the pack, but I'm not sure. Let's actually get into it and find out before I start saying things I have no idea what I'm talking about. Two, two, there you go, not three, two. So you get two RGB light strips. They're magnetic, so that's very cool. You can see the magnets every couple of inches. And apparently there is, I thought, it said on the box that there is an adhesive strip, but it looks like... Ah, as usual, I have to look in the box. So there are some stickers here, some 3M stickers that you can peel off and stick on here for double-sided tape if you want to use that rather than the magnets. So I suppose if you're putting on a plastic surface or something like that where the magnets won't work, you do have those. So it's not the usual one where they're pre-installed and you just peel it off, which is a bit more convenient. Anyway, not the end of the world. And you can daisy chain these two together if you just want to make one long one. So they'll clip in like so. There you go. Or you can use them individually with the cables provided. And these will plug in to, if you've got a controller, that should work. Otherwise, they'll just go into the header on your motherboard and it supports all the usual stuff. So they're pretty cool. I don't actually have a price on these. I couldn't find them on Newegg, Amazon or anywhere in Australia. So I'm not sure what, uh, how much Reven is charging for these. So pretty cool light strip. I'll probably feature those in a build at some point in the not too distant future. Love a bit of RGB in the builds we do. Then we have a Kiran, Kiran, Kiran RGB fan. So we have just one of those, so I probably won't use it in a build. But these, these, as you can see here, they are sold separately. So you can just buy one, which is kind of nice. And it doesn't require a fancy controller or any sort of additional cost like that. There's just a switch here. And by pushing that, you can rotate between colors and effects. And then it just has a four pin PWM fan uh, connector there for your motherboard's fan header or controller if you're using one. So looking on the box here, we have seven colors and three lighting modes to choose from. So that's pretty cool. The fan works at between 400 and 1500 RPM. You get a two year warranty. And the best bit is it costs just $15 US, which isn't dirt cheap, but for an RGB fan, it looks pretty cool, which I'll drop some B-roll and show you guys how it actually looks. Uh, that is very cheap. You're sort of looking at more like $30 for the more custom ones with a bit more control. So yeah, kind of half price there, your budget RGB 120 millimeter fan. Then lastly, we have the Naya. Naya? Uh, it is an all-in-one 240 millimeter rad uh, liquid cooler. And this is pretty cool because you can service this particular model. I'll go out of the box and we'll talk about it a bit more. There aren't many reviews on this particular model yet, though there are uh, there are one or two from reliable sources, and they were very impressed with what it had to offer. So there are a few unique things about this all-in-one that make it a bit different from all the uh, well, I suppose there's a whole lot of all-in-one coolers these days. Pretty much everyone's offering one, but this one has a few unique things, as I said. One of them is that you can top it up. So over time, if uh, you know a bit of water's absorbed or evaporated or whatever, you can fill it up. And it's cool that it's uh, clear housing, so you can see the bubbles in it as well. And then the fill port is here. So you would unscrew that like so. There you go, it's a little bit wet on top but this one doesn't need any filling because there's hardly any air in it. Do that back up, give it a little quick wipe with a cloth and yeah, you're good to go. I looked at a pretty good all-in-one, a 240 millimeter all-in-one recently from Aerocool. That was very cool, a lot of RGB, RGB fans. It also had a clear housing, which was RGB lit and that made for some awesome effects. This one though is a no frills affair. So there's no RGB lighting, no fancy effects. The pump just plugs in via a three pin fan cable. So that'll go into a motherboard header that supports pumps. 
Then the fans that go on the radiator, well, they're also pretty bland. There's definitely no RGB here, just your standard black kind of fans. A uh, four pin header, which again will go to your motherboard or a fan controller. And there's not a whole lot to say about those, but they are 120 millimeter black fans. So you might be thinking, well, that's a pretty boring uh, all in one. I mean, you know, it looks okay. But spicing it up a bit, you do get three color dies. So you've got a red, blue, and what looks to be a green. So you can put the die in there and that'll change the color of the water and therefore this and then you've got some lighting around it with maybe your RGB strips and that'll give a pretty cool effect in your PC. And it is $110, so it's still reasonably pricey, but that is pretty competitive for a 240mm all-in-one, especially with the unique, unique features that this one has. And from what I've seen, the performance is very good. So, yeah, no frills cooler that performs well. Something else cool about this is that it has a WAP design, and that is water above pipe design. So this means the cooler can be installed and orientated without sacrificing the uh, pumping power. So that's very cool. So you don't really have to worry about how you orientate this in your case. Pretty much any way will work. Of course, one of the highlights here is that refillable tank. So it basically means that you can service this unit. So you can flush the pump and the radiator, give that a clean out, and then put some more coolant back in there. So that will help it last a bit longer. Now, out of the box, you can install this on pretty much every AMD and Intel platform out there. With the exception of Threadripper, you will have to purchase the upgradable uh, TR4 kit separately. So that doesn't come in the package, but you can purchase that if you plan on using this with Threadripper. And the, the cold plate, the base of the cooler, is rather large. It won't cover a Threadripper CPU entirely, but it is still quite big, so it'll do better than most of the coolers out there. And yeah, on that note, the performance that I have seen from other review outlets is very, very good for this model. So it's no slouch there when it comes to cooling and it does a great job while making very little noise. So that's also impressive. The only drawbacks of this product are availability, which at the moment is basically non-existent. It was selling on Amazon for a little while there for 110 US. It's not currently available on Amazon. It's not on Newegg. It's available nowhere in Australia. So I don't actually know where you can buy it at the moment. Hopefully they will help solve or they will work to solve the availability problem shortly. And the only other drawback here is that it does have a limited two year warranty. So, I mean, for the price, that's not too bad, but there are quite a few competing products that have up to five year warranties. So I would like to see the warranty period extended for this product if possible. And well, that is gonna do it for this episode of Unboxing Boxes. Once again, I would just like to give a massive thank you to ZZR Hardy for sending in this memory. Really can't even express how much Tim and I appreciate that. Really keen to put this in Tim's editing rig, his Ryzen 7 1700 editing rig that only has 16 gigabytes at the moment. Upgrade it to 64 gigabytes and see how much easier it is for him to edit and encode on that system. So yeah, thank you so much for sending this in. Uh, it's really blown me away. And thanks to PC Case Gear for sending in the new keyboard that I'll chuck on one of the test systems and use that a bit. Uh, cool to check out the Reven products. The all-in-one in particular is very interested, uh, very interesting. I'm keen to check out this fan, which you guys probably will have seen by now and how good it looks. So hopefully it looked pretty good. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty good price on that one. The light strips are cool. Uh, all the cool gifts and products. I love this mouse pad. I'm definitely going to be using that. I've got my cap. I've got my Christmas decorations. That I'll hang up in the office in various spots. You'll see them in the background before too long. And I've got my pillow. So I've got my Azeroth pillow. So that's that's pretty comfy. I'll chuck that on the couch. And yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Unboxing Boxes. There'll be another episode quite soon because over the Christmas break, I have a massive amount of boxes that I have to get through. And I'm putting together a, an amazing epic, the biggest, baddest build I've ever done on the channel will be coming up next month. And I'm starting to get products for that. So I'm very excited about that. And I'll be able to show you some of the products that are coming in for that build. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.